So how do we actually stop overthinking and why is it that we tend to overthink as human beings in the first place? So in this video, I'm gonna give you a couple of specific tips to really help with overthinking and also go through something that can help us understand why we're overthinking in the first place and finally cut the tie between the negative thoughts that we're having and the results that we create in our life, which is super important. So if as you're watching this, you like what we're talking about here, if it makes sense, please like the video. Uh, and also if you have anything to share, anything to add, please comment below, because a lot of people do get value from the comments and I'd love to hear your perspective if there's anything that you can add to the conversation. Finally, if you do enjoy it, please hit subscribe just down below and you'll get plenty more videos like this three times per week where we talk about this kind of thing um, and also online business. I talk a lot about online business as well. So, overthinking. Human beings, typically we're not gonna be overthinking positive things. As much as we'd love to, it'll happen sometimes, but normally when we're overthinking is that we're just repeatedly running this negative worst case scenario through our minds again and again and again. And generally speaking, there's, there's two reasons why that's happening. So first of all, do we overthink things where we're in control? or do we overthink things that we don't really care about? And the answer to both of those things really is no. If we're overthinking about something, it's usually because there is a scenario, a potential scenario that we really want to avoid, and it's usually because we aren't in control or we're uncertain about whether that scenario is gonna happen, right? It's the combination of the uncertainty and wanting to avoid something happening that will cause us to overthink and overthink and overthink and overthink. And the problem with that is that nothing good ever comes of overthinking. You know, we'll tell ourselves that, oh, we're, you know, we're running it again and again because we want to try and avoid the worst case scenario. We want to try and control the situation. But the fact of the matter is that we cannot predict the future. We cannot predict and we cannot control the future. And as long as we're holding on to this illusion that we can control it, it's going to create a lot of stress within us as a human. It's the way that we're operating. But it's going to create a lot of stress which is not gonna empower us to ultimately influence the outcome. And so there's two things that we have to recognize. Number one, do we ever spend time overthinking about whether we have, I don't know, enough cereal in the cereal box to eat breakfast every day this week? Not really, it's no big deal. Do we ever spend time overthinking about, you know, what we'll do if our hot water's a couple of degrees hotter or colder tomorrow than it was today? No, it doesn't really matter, like we, it's not, important to us and we're not attached to a specific outcome right there's nothing in that situation that we really fear or that's really going to impact us and that's the first thing to recognize if we're overthinking what is it in the situation that we're overthinking about that we fear happening and number two we've got to recognize that we're overthinking because it's this there's some element of uncertainty and we're trying to control that situation. So if we want to cure or prevent overthinking, we have to number one, embrace the worst case scenario, because when we can do that, we're no longer fearing something happening, or we're no longer trying to avoid something happening, we're just embracing whatever happens. And to do this, we can recognize that every single time in our life when our back has been up against the wall, Right, whenever it's been do or die, or we've been put in this position where we have no choice but to make something happen, we always figure it out, we always do. And as soon as we can recognize that, we can stop trying to you know, control these imagined future scenarios and trying to avoid all these things happening, which always, like inadvertently, or sorry, inevitably, they're, they're never gonna occur as bad as we think they are. So if we can literally just surrender and embrace the worst case scenario, embrace whatever it is that we're fearing and decide, you know what, if that happens, it happens, I'll figure it out. I always have and I always will. And the reason we know that is because if you're, you know, if you're sitting here watching this video on YouTube, for example, chances are everything has always worked out okay. You know, you're not about to get eaten by a saber toothed tiger, you're not about to get eaten by a, um, or hit by a train. You're, you know, you have a roof over your head, you're probably safe right now, everything's always worked out. And if that's the case, 
well, everything's going to continue working out. When our back's against them, will we make it happen? Because we have no choice. So if we can recognise that and look at what is this worst case scenario that we're fearing and go, you know what, even if that happens, which it probably won't, but even if that happens, so be it. I'm not going to resist it. I'm not going to fight it. I'm just going to allow it. And when you surrender to that, something magical happens. If you embrace that worst case scenario and you're okay with that occurring, you will begin to care less about trying to influence the outcome. And when you begin to care less about trying to influence the outcome, you begin to get more comfortable in uncertainty. And suddenly the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the overthinking, all the worry that goes with it is gonna start to disappear. Because the only reason that fear, that anxiety, that worry is there is because we're not embracing the worst case scenario and we're trying to control the future to avoid hitting that worst case scenario. And since where focus goes, energy flows, we're inadvertently putting all of our attention on the worst case scenario, which is making it far more likely that that's what we're ultimately gonna manifest in our lives, all right? So when we embrace the worst case scenario, we can start putting our focus not on overthinking the worst case scenario, but instead on just freely focusing on what we wanna create instead. And then we're much more likely to manifest that, but we've gotta surrender first, all right? So the, the overthinking is there as a result of the stress that we're creating by trying to control the future, by trying to influence the outcome. And that's only happening because we're not okay with a certain outcome happening. And we can't control the future. We're not psychic, we can't predict it. And so as, as long as we're holding on to that, that gap of perceived control that we're trying to create, which we can never create, that's where the stress, stress and the anxiety lives. All right, so embrace the worst case scenario, let go of trying to control the future, that's gonna allow you to embrace uncertainty, and then the overthinking, which is a result of that anxiety and that fear, is gonna to start to disappear, right? And you'll start to think about it as much as you would think about whether you have enough cereal for your breakfast in the morning, or whether your hot water's gonna be slightly hotter or slightly colder. You won't care, you don't care about that, and you don't need to care about whatever it is you're overthinking about if you just embrace it. A couple of other tips as well that are really powerful. Meditation, right? If you find that your mind is on overdrive a lot of the time, a lot of the time that is because we're identifying with our thoughts. And when we meditate, we can learn to, to allow our thoughts to be. Think of, think of your thoughts like passing traffic, right? You're standing on the side of the road, you've got cars going past, going back and forward and going back and forward. We don't need to become each car as it goes past. We don't need to identify as each car as, it go, as it's going past. You can just stand on the side of the road and just watch the traffic. You know, negative thought comes, go, oh, okay, there's a negative thought, gone. Another thought comes, oh, there's a thought, okay, gone. And the less we identify with our thoughts, the more that they're just gonna pass. They're just gonna come and go and come and go and come and go. All right, so that's another powerful way to really help to free yourself from your thoughts controlling you so hopefully these tips are powerful if you do have your own perspective to share again please like the video if you've enjoyed it and please do comment below if you have something to add and finally if you've enjoyed it please hit subscribe because i do three videos like this every single week normally talking about this kind of stuff but also online business so hit subscribe hit the notification bell and then you'll get a reminder every time a new one goes live Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it, and I will speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.